The Global Anti-Terror Financing Watchdog, which is the Financial Action Task Force or the FATF, has decided to retain Pakistan in its grey list for failing to adequately investigate and prosecute senior leaders and commanders of UN-designated terror groups. The decision was announced at the conclusion of the multilateral watchdog's five-day virtual plenary meeting under German presidency of Marcus Player. Player further highlighted what is expected from Pakistan in the next plenary, which is scheduled to take place from 17th to 22nd October this year. Well, this remains to be seen. Uh, Pakistan now uh, knows exactly what is expected um, um, from, um, a, from, from, from them. So there is this remaining action item on the one action plan that is concentrating on counterterrorism financing. But as I just said, there is a new action plan with remaining deficiencies and actions that Pakistan must now complete. And we will closely cooperate and closely observe um, the progress. And I'm very thankful to the commitment of the Pakistani government to do so. And then in four months' time, we will um, look again on the progress. The Financial Action Task Force in an announcement said, and I quote, the FATF encourages Pakistan to continue to make progress to address as soon as possible the one remaining counter-terrorist financing related item by demonstrating that terrorist financing investigations and prosecutions target senior leaders and commanders of UN-designated terrorist groups." Unquote. FATF further noted that Pakistan had completed all but one of the 27 items in the action plan drawn up for the country to tackle money laundering and terror financing. Incidentally, the announcement by the FATF comes a day after India's national security advisor, Ajit Doval, pitched for an action plan against Pakistan-based terror groups, Lashkar-e-Taiba and jaish e Mohammed. In recent months, Pakistan has been scrambling to avoid being added to a list of countries deemed non-compliant with anti-money laundering and terrorist financing regulations by the Global Watchdog. However, in June 2018, Pakistan was placed on the grey list and Islamabad was asked to implement a 27-point action plan to curb money laundering and terror financing. By the end of 2019, however, till today, Pakistan has failed to comply with all the proposals and till today, Pakistan remains on the FATF grey list.